I bet that as a kid you dreamt of exploring the jungle and having your own adventure. Jungles have always been mysterious. Some people have already explored them, but each one of them still has secrets that we don't know of yet, even today. They make up a mere 7% of our planet, and yet they contain over 50% of the world's wildlife. Imagine what other things the jungle hides. Let's head into an adventure and discover what the jungle has to offer. From the deadly boiling river to the creepy cascada plant, here are 15 creepiest jungle discoveries ever made. Number 15. Boiling River Welcome to the so-called only boiling river in the world. At first, this river was only part of the local legends. But today, many people have heard of the legendary boiling river located deep in the heart of the Amazon. It was just a weird and scary story for people around the world until 2011 when a geoscientist working on a thermal map of Peru traveled all by himself. Amidst all of the hardships of the jungle, he obtained proof that the legend isn't just a legend. He saw with his own two eyes the deadly boiling river of the Amazon. The section of river is four miles long and as wide as a two-lane road. Its deepest part is 16 feet, not really deep enough for anyone to be scared of. But think again, the temperature of its waters average around 186 degrees Fahrenheit. That temperature is hot enough to cook a small animal in just a matter of seconds. The people living around the river had known about the river for a long time, but it was the first time it was studied by scientists. Just imagine a huge river being an instant hot pot. At first, researchers thought that the river is a result of volcanic activity, but surprisingly enough, it isn't really powered by a volcano, and instead, it's fault-fed. This means that the water in the river first sinks down to the crevices underground taking heat from the earth. After it gets warm enough, it shoots back up through the faults and cracks the earth. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Stone Spheres of Costa Rica What if you stumble upon a huge stone sphere while you're exploring the jungle? The longer you walk, the more stone spheres you'll see you'll probably be bewildered. What are these stone spheres? Who made them? And where did they come from? These are the exact questions that the researchers and other locals probably asked themselves when they discovered over 300 stones on the small island of Isla de Cano and the Digis Delta in Costa Rica. Luckily, you don't have to scratch your heads and think about the origin of these spheres. These petrospheres are attributed to the now extinct Digis culture that once inhabited the island around 1,500 to 300 BC. They were a small farming community with some levels of tribal organization. During their time, these stone spheres served as statues or stone sculptures. They range between a few centimeters in diameter to over two meters. They're surprisingly smooth, and in that day and age, it's hard to create these using your bare hands. They're sculpted from granodiorite, which is a very hard rock similar to granite. Researchers believe that the rock is primarily chosen because they're already somewhat round. One thing is for sure, the Dickies culture treated these spheres as important because of how much effort they exerted to create them. Number 13. Hiru Onoda This story is a bit different, but if you like history, there's a huge chance that you already know about this person. This is Hiru Onoda. He was found in the jungle after World War II. His story is kind of amazing, and some find it pretty tragic. Some claim that Mr. Onoda is incredibly courageous. Some praise his dedication, while some people condemn him for his stubbornness and delusion. Mr. Onoda was one of the last Japanese soldiers to stop fighting during the Second World War. He fought continuously, even though it had been 29 years since the Japanese army surrendered to the Allies who walked aboard the USS Missouri on September 2, 1945. Of course, all of the soldiers that fought for their country should be recognized. Fighting for your country is an amazing feat, but Hiro Onoda is so distinguished that he became almost a myth himself. Upon reaching Lubang Island in the Philippines, he stayed true to the command given to him, never surrender or take your own life. His superior's words became his driving force to continue fighting for years, even after his allies dropped one by one. In the end, two other soldiers continued to fight alongside Onoda. They hid in the jungle and survived by eating bananas, coconuts, and rice from the local farmers. Even after his two close friends surrendered, he still continued to hide in the jungle until years after the war. Soon enough, he was proclaimed dead by officials. 
However, one Japanese student named Suzuki refused to believe that the soldier was dead, and so he set out to locate the missing soldier. Amazingly enough, his gut feeling proved to be true. Hiro Onoda stayed alive almost 30 years after World War II ended. Even after meeting Suzuki, Onoda refused to give up the fight and claimed that he would only stop fighting after receiving the direct command of his superior. After years, his commanding officer, Major Yoshimi Taniguchi, went back to Hiro Onoda and relieved him of his duties. Onoda couldn't help but weep as he returned with his commanding officer, bringing with him his belongings, a sword, a rifle, 500 rounds of ammunition, hand grenades, and a dagger given to him by his mother in 1944. He claimed that his stay in the jungle was worth it because he was merely doing his duties. Number 12. Real Life Tarzan Now let's take a look at this next interesting gentleman. This is Ho Van Lang, a Vietnamese man that survived in the Vietnamese jungle for four decades. He first fled to the jungle in 1972 along with his father after half of their family perished during the Vietnam War. The father and son duo lived by farming corn and foraging and soon enough, they learned to adapt in the jungle. They wore loincloths made of bark, and they managed to build a timber hut five meters above the ground. They were soon discovered by locals who were collecting firewood. They were convinced to go back to civilization partly because of Van Lang's father's deteriorating health. When they first interacted with the villagers, the father and son thought that the war was still raging on. The pair was assisted with medical care, but they had a hard time integrating with their changed society. They slowly managed to get used to their current country. Sadly, Van Lang had fatal results upon returning to modern civilization. According to one of his friends, he ended up eating processed foods and drinking alcohol. Van Lang tragically passed away at the age of 52 due to liver cancer. Number 11. Mysterious Amazon Rings The Amazon rainforest is the world's biggest rainforest. It's larger than the rainforests in the Congo Basin and Indonesia combined. It also has the world's largest river by volume, about 16,000 species of trees, 2.5 million species of insects, and a couple more species of various animals. This rainforest really is amazing, but did you know that there lies a ring which predates this massive forest? Take a look at these mysterious ditches. They're scattered within the rainforest with some of them being up to 16 feet deep. Today, researchers are still unsure of who built them and why. The leading theory is that perhaps they can be attributed to the prehistoric people that altered the landscape of the Amazon long before modern times. There are a couple of possibilities for the purpose of this drain. There is a possibility that it was used for defense, water storage, ceremonies, religious purposes, or drainage. Who knows, maybe we'll discover more about the prehistoric people that lived in the Amazon through these rings. Number 10. Hidden Megalopolis this next discovery is said to be a major breakthrough according to many researchers. Who would have thought that underneath the Guatemalan jungle lies a huge hidden megalopolis? Thanks to the revolutionary technology called light detection and ranging, researchers managed to remove the tree canopy from aerial images of the landscape. This revealed houses, palaces, highways, and defensive fortifications. These complexes could have been the home of millions of people back then. These images proved that their civilization was far more populated than we initially thought. This also changed the impression of this civilization. This proves that a civilization in Central America that was at its peak some 1,200 years ago is comparable to much more sophisticated and advanced cultures, just like ancient Greece. Among the things found was a complex irrigation system that managed to support millions of people and worked for the betterment of their civilization. Number 9. Mega City of Angkor Most of Angkor was a tangle of jungles and small farms by the 20th century. Soon enough, the place became unrecognizable that even the traces of a huge megacity was almost lost. Remember the revolutionary laser technology I mentioned earlier? The credit for this discovery can still be attributed to the light detection and ranging technology. After using the aerial laser to survey the area, they revealed a vast urban settlement that stretched for miles, complete with moats. It showed that the ancient Khmer capital was more sophisticated and advanced than we thought. This laser tech really became a game changer for both scientists and historians. Thanks to this new discovery, we now know that the place has a lot more to offer aside from the only known surviving structure, which is the world-renowned Angkor Wat. Number 8. Zombie Fungi 
Did you know that there are actually zombies that live among us? Yep, you heard that right. There's a fungus that's considered to be the most sinister. This fungi has the ability to create zombies by controlling the mind of a creature. This parasitic fungus is called Ophiocordyces unilateralis, or simply the zombie ant fungus. That's right, zombie ant. If you got worried there for a second, rest assured that this fungus only has the capacity of controlling the minds of ants. This fungus is found in tropical forests and they have one goal and only one goal in mind. They need to spread and propagate. This fungus first inspects an ant and as soon as the infection spreads out, the ant is controlled to leave its nest and go to a more humid environment, perfect for the growth of the fungus. Afterwards, the insect is then compelled to sink its jaws into a leaf and hang until it perishes. While that whole thing is going on, the fungus is already busy consuming the insect's innards. After a few days, the fungus will then use the ant's head as a launch pad to send its spores to other ants to infect them, and the cycle repeats. Just like the zombies portrayed in the media today, there's also an incubation period where the infected ants appear to be normal. They do their ant business and socialize with their fellow ants, working together to take care of the nest and the queen. At this stage, they're completely undetected by other ants. This is a crucial factor because ants are really smart. They have a thing called social immunity, which means sick ants get kicked out from the group to prevent infection. It's harsh, but pretty cool, right? However, when it comes to this mind control fungus, ants are defenseless and an infection is 100% fatal. I kind of feel sorry for the ants, but at the same time, I'm just thankful that this fungus doesn't bother humans. Hopefully, they'll stay as zombie ant fungus and not evolve to infect higher species. Number 7. Titan Arum Introducing the corpse flower. This is the largest and smelliest flowering structure on the entire planet. The appearance of the corpse flower is quite imposing, hence it was given the name Titan Arum. This flower can grow up to 6 to 8 feet tall and it acts just like a huge air freshener, except it emits the foul odor of rotting flesh 24-7. Hence, the nickname Corpse Flower. You don't need to worry though, because these plants are pretty rare and they're native to the rainforests of Sumatra, Indonesia. In fact, they're so rare that they're considered to be endangered primarily because of deforestation. Just imagine what the locals thought when they first stumbled upon this plant. There's actually a reason why these flowers smell stinky. Because they can't attract bees or other usual pollinators, they use their extra foul smell to attract dung beetles and flies to help spread their pollen. In fact, aside from their stinkiness, the corpse flower can also warm itself up to 36.7 degrees Celsius. What you're thinking is probably correct. These stinky smart plants warm themselves up to the temperature of a body. Pretty creepy, right? However, it seems like its smell and nastiness isn't enough to deter people from having them. In fact, there are a couple of people out there inquiring shops if they could obtain one of these. Sadly, they're pretty hard to bloom and they will freeze if you live in the colder parts of the planet. Number 6. Sigiriya This is Sigiriya, or the Lion Rock. This site is found in central Sri Lanka and it houses the ruins of an ancient stronghold that was built in the late 5th century CE. The ruins were built by King Kasapa I, who ruled Anuradhapura from 473 to 495 CE. The Lion Rock is already incredible by itself. It rises to an elevation of 1,144 feet above sea level, and it's some 600 feet more elevated than the surrounding plains. You're probably wondering where the name comes from. The Lion Rock obtained its name because of the wonderful palace built by King Kasapa I in the shape of a monumental lion. Sadly, the king was defeated in 495, which caused the palace to fall into ruin. Today, this beautiful site is considered to be one of the most monumental tourist spots to visit. Number 5. White Head of the Monkey God The La Ciudad Blanca, or the White City, is rumored to be dedicated to a monkey god worshipped by a pre-Columbian civilization. This local city is well known in lore, and it was said to be hidden deep in the northeastern Honduran rainforest. For a long time, explorers tried to search for the White City, but all of their efforts went in vain. One person did discover the lost city about 80 years ago but he suffered from a sudden death which did not allow him to share any information about the lost city. And so the search continued. However, in 2015, a team of scientists discovered something that ended the search. They found the lost city in the most undisturbed rainforest in Central America. 
They found parts of the forest that haven't been touched by anyone in over 1,000 years. They found many artifacts in the place, including a statue of a big monkey, which is immediately attributed to the monkey god. Aside from that, they also found structures swallowed by nature, and most of all, some species of animals and plants that were believed to have been extinct. Number 4. Giants Many myths and legends revolve around the existence of giants. Even though their existence is still scientifically unproven until today, many of us remain curious about them. Today, there are some giants that live among us, but they are exceptions because of a rare genetic condition. Do you think that at some point in time, human-like beings that grow up to 20 feet or more really existed? Take a look at this picture. Let's first discuss the giant footprint. This was captured in August 2016 in Pingyan, China's southeastern province of Guizhou. By the next month, the internet is filled with numerous conspiracy theories talking about this huge footprint that allegedly proves that giants existed before us. Fossilized footprints may not be equal to an actual fossilized skeleton, but they still hold some weight about a creature's existence. This footprint was allegedly 57 centimeters long, 20 centimeters wide, and 3 centimeters deep. For comparison, a typical man's foot is 18 centimeters long, and a female's is 16.5 centimeters long. If this is really true, then it would be a discovery that will change our entire understanding about our history and evolution. There's one problem, though. After appearing on numerous websites, there's no other information regarding these footprints. No matter how incredible the fossilized footprint is, we still can't verify whether this really is ancient evidence of giants or just a man-made hoax. I'll leave the judgment up to you. Now, let's address the giant skeleton. A couple of these pictures have floated around the internet along with a picture of the giant footprint for years. It is true that they discovered a huge graveyard of giants in the late Neolithic settlement in the ruins of China's Shandong province. Even then, the tallest skeleton was only 6 foot 2, which is a gigantic height for the people that lived in that period. So if you're 6 feet tall, people back then would have considered you a giant already. I guess that as it turns out, just like the fossilized footprint, the claims of these alleged giants are scientifically unfounded. For now, it seems that it's better to wait until we find a more solid proof of giants. Number 3. Rafflesia The Rafflesia can easily be considered to be the heavyweight champion among all of the flowers. Heavy not only in weight, but also in terms of smell. The Rafflesia is considered to be the world's largest flower in diameter. It weighs up to a staggering 24 pounds, and it has the maximum diameter of 3 feet and 6 inches. The name Rafflesia might sound beautiful for some, but trust me, you don't want to be named after the stinkiest flower in the world. It's very similar to the corpse flower in terms of smell, but the two have a striking difference in terms of their appearance. These large blooms can be found only in the forests of Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Sumatra, Java, and the Philippines. They have huge leathery petals and they smell of rotting meat. You have to admit though that they look beautiful and exotic. You won't really want to come near it though after the first whiff of its smell. Number 2. Hidden German Hideout You can never really expect what you'll encounter in the jungle. In 2015, a team of explorers stumbled upon a hidden stone building in the jungle of Argentina. At first, they thought they were just examining a normal stone building. But the more they looked at it, they started to notice that it was a hidden German hideout. The discovery did revive some pretty unpleasant thoughts, but it also helped uncover more about history. Upon excavating the three stone buildings, the archaeologists found some pieces of evidence pointing the establishment to the Germans, including a fragment of a porcelain plate bearing the name of the country. During the mid-20th century, these buildings would have been completely inaccessible by most people and only those who knew its exact location would be able to find it, which makes it the perfect hiding spot for those wanting to escape the raging world war. Number 1. Cascutta Take a look at this plant. Sure, it looks like a common tumbleweed, but don't be fooled. These plants are considered to be nasty parasites. One species in particular called the dotter is a pale green or yellow plant found throughout the tropical and temperate regions of our planet. They're also called hairweed, ladies' laces, strangleweed, and many others. But my favorite nickname so far is devil's hair. These plants have string-like stems and they appear to be leafless upon first glance. 
They do have leaves, but they're pretty much invisible because of how small they are. Because of this, they can't produce enough food to support themselves. This is where the evilness starts. These plants will become parasites and start to cover other plants. Just like true parasites, they will entangle themselves with their hosts as if trying to strangle them. Most plants can fall victim to them, including agricultural crops like carrots, onions, and potatoes. They are also merciless to ornamental plants like chrysanthemum, helenium, petunia, and periwinkle. In the jungle, this distinction doesn't really matter. But if this parasite somehow finds its way to someone's precious garden, you know that they'll be heartbroken to see their plants succumbing to disease and insect problems. Which of these discoveries intrigued you the most? Do you know of any other jungle discoveries? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.